With the lock screen controls, you can design your iPhone lock screen to your hat's liking. Unfortunately, many users have complained that the lock screen controls are not working on their iPhones. If this issue has troubled you as well, now is the right time to fix it. That said, let's get started. To begin with, I would recommend you to have reset your iPhone because it is very effective in fixing annoying or frustrating iOS related problems. To do so, you have to press and release the volume up button, then you have to press and release the volume down button, and then you have to hold down the side button aka the power button until you see the Apple logo on the screen. Many a time, it's the pileup of dust, smudge, or fingerprints that tend to come in the way and prevent the touchscreen from responding to the touch gestures. Therefore, I would recommend you to clean the touchscreen with a soft, lint-free cloth. And then I would suggest you to remove the screen guard. If the lock screen controls still don't respond to the touch, remove the screen guard. It's no secret that worn-out screen guards tend to become unresponsive. Therefore, get rid of the old screen defender and long press on the control to check if it responds to the touch. Then I will recommend you to make sure you have properly set up the related feature. Keep in mind that some lock screen controls don't work until you have properly set up the related features. For instance, if the music haptics feature is disabled or hasn't been set up perfectly, the music haptic control may appear to be grayed out or won't trigger with a long press at all. Should the problem still persist, remove all the controls from the lock screen and then add different ones. To do so, you have to trigger the lock screen by pressing the power button of your device. And then you have to authenticate using your face ID or touch ID. And then you have to long press on the screen. And after that, you have to hit the customize button. Then you have to choose the lock screen option. And then you have to tap on the minus button at the top of the control that you want to get rid of. And after that, you have to tap on the plus button. And then you have to select a lock screen control and hit the done button at the top right corner of the screen. And then you have to restart your iPhone and check if the controls have started to behave on the expected line. If nothing has brought the misfiring controls back on track, I would recommend you to update the software as it might be owing to a software bug. To do so, you have to open the settings app on your iPhone. Then you have to choose general. After that, select software update. And if an update is available, download and install it by agreeing to Apple's licensing terms and conditions. And finally, I would recommend you to factory reset your iPhone. In terms of resolving the frustrating iOS issues, the factory reset has a legendary status. Hence, it would be a mistake to give this trusted solution a miss. If you are afraid of this radical solution, know that it only eliminates the custom settings such as your home screen layout and Wi-Fi passwords. And all the pivotal data including your photos, files and music remain secure. Therefore, you shouldn't worry about losing your important data at all. To get started, you have to open the settings app on your iPhone, then select general. After that, you have to scroll down to the bottom of the screen and choose transfer or reset iPhone. Then select reset. Then you have to tap on reset all settings and confirm the action and that's pretty much it. So these are the best tips and tricks through which you'll be able to fix iPhone lock screen controls not working problem in iOS 18 or later. Hopefully you have gotten the better of the problem and the lock screen controls have started to work as usual. If you found this video helpful, do like and share it and I'll see you in the next video with more such handy iPhone tips and tricks. Till then, stay safe and I'll get home. Bye bye.